If you ignore the same three shitty memes about Morbius that are more overused than a fucking sex doll, you'll know that the movie is pretty fucking awful. This video is going to serve as a critique of Morbius and the other live-action Spider-Man films that are set in Sony's weird little Spider-Verse type of thing. One of the main issues of Morbius is the pacing. You're still holding on! Let go! The film feels like it's supposed to be two hours, maybe two and a half hours long, and I could kind of see why they were kind of going for that. I mean, if you look at the trailers, it honestly feels as if it's supposed to be a two hour or two hour and a half long movie. But I guess Sony just decided to scrap it and be like, eh, fuck it, we'll make money anyways, and then just release a half finished hunk of junk. A lot of the subplots in this film and a lot of stuff in this film seems very dull and lifeless and hollow and kind of just feels very rushed just to put out a release date on it. I mean, hell, there are so many scenes that were in trailers that weren't even shown in the fucking film. That's when you know it feels rushed as balls. Along with the fact that some scenes last longer than they already should, it honestly feels as if it's a rushed, unfinished product that needed maybe a year or a year and a half to fully finish. I have no issues with the cast as a whole. I mean, I feel as if the casting was okay. I mean, it could have been worse. And while I don't have an issue with the cast or anything involving the cast, I do feel as if I can't say the same for the CGI and the effects of the film. Wow! There are some scenes in this movie that basically prove how shit the CGI and the effects are. I mean, holy shit, it just looks fucking abysmal. <laughs> like, I could get better CGI out of a fucking trash can with shit in it than I can with Morbius as a movie. And before people go off on me in the comments for saying not every movie has to have a very deep and good plot or not every movie has to have top tier CGI, listen, I don't really care if the story of a movie is well driven or not. If it's okay, I'm fine with it. If it's bad, I'm gonna point out that it's fucking bad. If the CGI is okay or good, okay, good for you. If the CGI is bad, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to admit it's fucking awful. I mean, hell, this movie flopped so fucking hard, Funko decided to not make Funko Pops of these things. Yeah, Funko, the company that decided to make Funko Pops of fucking almost everything, they decided, yeah, we're not gonna do that with Morbius. Oh, fuck no. Much like how Sony was like, yeah, we're not gonna make most of the tone of this movie make any sense whatsoever. The whole tone shifting isn't really that noticeable like the Venom films, but it's still pretty fucking bad. And what do I mean by this? At first it goes from dark and serious to comedic, to dark and serious again, to awkward comedy, to cheesy comedy, and then there's also a rushed romance that nobody wanted nor did we ask for. I mean, when we see them interact in the movie, they don't really seem to be all in for one another until, you know, near the fucking end, they're just like, oh yeah, let's just throw in a romance because, eh, why not? And I kind of noticed they tried making some scenes feel as if they're from the Nolan Batman films, like how he steps in this tube-like thing and there's just bats swarming around him like fucking Batman. And plus they literally stole fucking Batman Begins music, like no, literally, they literally just stole the fucking music from that movie, put it in that scene, and then called it new music. The last thing I want to talk about this fucking awful movie is the post credit scene, because it's just as shit, and I'm not talking about the first one, I'm gonna be talking about the second one. How I would describe this scene is basically just if a six-year-old wrote it. It's literally just Vulture finding out the world he's in isn't his own, somehow getting the suit, and then saying, hey, you wanna team up, Morbius? And then he's like, sure. First of all, how in the fuck was he able to make the suit? In Homecoming, he isn't really that much of a mechanical guy. He had people with Chitari tech 
make the fucking suit. Meaning, he doesn't know shit about how to make a suit like this. And the Chitauri don't exist in the Sony universe, and before you even go on about, oh well he stole the wings from Oscorp, they purposely left Oscorp out of the film, so where the hell did he get the tech to make the suit? Also, the wings are way smaller than the ones you see Vulture using. Also, how in the hell does Vulture even know or even think Spider-Man has anything to do with him being in an alternate universe? He's already fought in Spider-Man, so he knows that he doesn't have magical powers or world teleportation powers. And plus, this version of Adrian Toomes is very worried about his family. He wants to make sure that they have a good living. He wants to make sure they have enough money to have food, to have water, to have decent living conditions. And he also wants them to be safe and all of that stuff. So wouldn't he be worried about his family? And wouldn't he be worried about trying to get back to his reality to check on his family to see if they're okay? And why decide to team up with Morbius out of all fucking people? Like, what do you think he knows that you don't? And also, same with Morbius, why team up with Vulture? Like, you just met this guy, right? And you don't even fucking know about him at all. And you think the best course of fucking action is to team up with him. The sad shit is, is that Sony clearly wants to make a Sinister Six movie with, you know, people such as Venom, Morbius, Scorpion, all that type of shit, right? But it would literally just be the same as No Way Home because they want to have Tom Holland as their Spider-Man and that would be the second Sinister Six that has multiverse characters. Yes, I know there were five in No Way Home. Be quiet. It also has no context for being in the movie and on top of that, they clearly try and make it seem like Morbius is a hero. So why would he immediately team up with a guy he doesn't even fucking know? And that's one of the big issues with Sony's whole live action Spider-Verse. They make these films with obscure characters such as Morbius and fucking El Muerto. And there's nothing really wrong with making a film about an obscure character. It gives that character more time to shine. But the main issue with that is... The pacing and the storytelling that goes into these films is just very rushed and it feels as if it needed way more time. Another thing with it is just the fact that they try and make it seem like a mixture of seriousness and comedy, like how the MCU movies are. But the thing with that is they kind of come across as a Ben Stiller-like comedy, while the MCU films come across as something far more fucking better. And while the Venom films' CGI and effects aren't really that bad, with Morbius, it feels as if it's just super unfinished. Like, it honestly feels as if they just relied on the slow motion aspect of his movements to try and hide it, but oh fuck, it just looked awful. A lot of the things I complained about Morbius are honestly also complaints that could be fit into the Venom films. And speaking of complaints, I have one more thing to talk about, and that is the fucking fan base of Morbius. Um, it's a squeaking of the hideous boot! Yeah, believe it or not, this shitty movie actually has a fucking fan base, and it's fucking abysmal. They come across as cultish at times, and a lot of the time they come across as these quirky band kids that live and breathe memes, and, you know, they just repeat the same fucking three jokes over and over and fucking over again, and maybe a fourth one. Outside of that, they repeat the same shit over and over and over again. They're literally fucking sheep. No, literally, they're all fucking sheep. And I get the whole it's so bad, it's good type of meme, but that joke eventually runs its course, much like their mom's ovaries, and it just fucking dries up, and at that point, it might as well just be considered useless. Just about as useless as me continuing on this video. If you liked the video, you could like and subscribe. If you didn't, you don't have to do any of that. I know the Morbius cucks are going to be going off on my ass and basically repeating the same three jokes in the comments and possibly saying shit like this. Your life is nothing. You serve zero purpose. You should kill yourself now and give somebody else a piece of that oxygen and ozone layer it's covered up so that we can breathe inside this blue trap bubble. Because what are you here for? To worship me? Kill yourself. I mean that with 100%.
with a thousand percent. Please, that's the reason.